Here it says writing and evaluating a function modeling continuous exponential growth or decay given two outputs. So it says at the beginning of a study, um, a certain culture of bacteria had um, a population of 640. So because this was at the beginning, it had 640. I know that that's the initial amount. Then it says the population grows according to the continuous growth model. So after seven days, there are 506 bacteria. So that means that after seven days, when the time is seven days, the amount that I'm going to have is 506. What I don't know still is the rate. And that's why this is blank, because I don't know what that is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by um, 460. And I get 1.1, and it'll be gone from this side. Then if I switch the forms over, I have log base E of 1.1 equal to 7R, or ln of 1.1 equal to 7R, which means ln of 1.1 over 7 equals R. Um, if they ask you to round it, then you can use the decimal version of this number, and you round it to whatever they say to round it to. But if it does not ask you for the rounded number, then make sure you plug in the exact number in this parentheses. <clears throat> now, he says, how many bacteria are there in seven minutes after the beginning of the study? So I'm going to use that formula from the previous problem. I'm going to use the decimal version. Oh, 0, 1, 3, 6, 1, 5, 7, 4. And I'm saying after seven minutes. So when I plug this in here, it's going to be 460E. And then I'm just going to pull up that number times seven and I get five zero six point zero 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 and usually it tells you to round so you just get five zero six now this one was a silly question um, because it already told you that after oh that's why because it said after seven days um, there was five hundred and six and now it's asking you for seven minutes so this is um oh man this is tricky normally it doesn't change the units on you like that but if it does you have to be careful and you have to pay attention to what it's telling you about the formula so if it tells me here that the t is in um, days then you did all this correct and you found the right rate but then that also means that this is not the correct value to be plugging in because if I'm talking about seven minutes, that is not the correct, or if I'm talking about days, that is not the correct value in there. So if you have seven minutes, remember that every hour has seven minutes in, or has 60 minutes in it. And then every um, day, has 24 hours in it. The minutes will cancel, the hours will cancel, and you'll get seven times one times one is seven. And then 60 times 24 is 1440. And so then seven divided by, clear, seven divided by 1440. Does that just reduce? No, I'll just leave it like that then. So that's the number that's supposed to go in here. And I didn't do that earlier. So 460 and then E. And I'm going to go find this decimal number because it's up there somewhere. It's just going to be it. There it is. That decimal times 7 over 1440. And I get 460. Tell me to round to a certain spot. So I'm just going to say 460. So really, if it's increasing by days, then a few minutes is not going to make it increase a whole bunch, is it? Okay. So just keep that in mind. Be careful with the variables.
Bubbles. I don't think they do that too much for us. I think I really made an error here. And this should have been like 17 days or something like that. Um, and then it's just a matter of plugging in 17. But normally the time that you're working with is going to be the same in the paragraph, in the explanation for you writing the formula, and in the part where you need to predict the future value. So it's usually all the same units. If it says days here, it'll say days there, and it'll say days here. Um, but look out in case it doesn't. At least you have an idea of how to go f through it with this example. But I think, I think it should have been like 17 days. And then it just would have been a matter of plugging 17 in here. And if I had done that, it would have just been... Oh, I'm deleting the wrong thing. It would have been ah, e to the crazy decimal. Where is it? There it is. Times 17. And then it would have been um, 580. And then after 17 days, it would have been 580 bacteria. Okay. But it's still a good example. It's literally kind of like the previous one, um, except instead of giving you double or half, they tell you the amount and the time that relates to it. So they give you um, this amount. Where is it? They give you this amount and the time that goes with it, and then from there you should be able to solve for R. Whereas before, in a previous example, they told you that this was either half of the original or they told you that this was double the original. But other than that, it's the same topic as the one before.